Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and for anyone that is new here, welcome. I hope you are liking um, my videos on my channel and stuff and it's what you expected, blah blah blah. No! For today's video, I'm actually going to be sharing something different from makeup tutorials or makeup tutorials. That's like all I do now is makeup tutorials. Wow. If you guys have any ideas of videos that you would want me to do, like Q&A or anything like that, then please let me know because like I'm running out of ideas here. Anyway, today is totally something different. Today I'm going to be introducing you guys to a friend of mine who has a excellent shopping website for K-style jewelry, so anything K-pop trend, stuff like that. Um, her website features in selling um, costume jewelry that is really trendy in South Korea. So if you guys don't know what costume jewelry is, it basically is any jewelry that is not like silver or gold. So it's our regular affordable jewelry that everyone can buy. You guys may have noticed if you are um, new viewers or even old viewers that um, recently in a lot of my videos I've been wearing uh, rings and earrings or um, necklaces, mostly rings, and those are rings that I got from my friend's website. So these rings I am just so, so in love with. I really love how delicate they are, how girly they are, and how trendy and on point they are. So today I'm actually wearing one right now, and this is one of my favorite ones. It's the dual ring. So at the back it's consistently one ring, but then it is two on the outside, and it kind of fits to be like a knuckle ring, and I don't know, it's just so pretty. Um, this ring I chose because it's super feminine and it kind of has like a crown or like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a lace pattern, like a crown lace pattern on it that is just so pretty. Oh, I love it. Another one that is my favorite is this one right here and it is kind of really like punk style but still being feminine. It's got the uh, triangles on it with um, lovely little crystals at the opposite end while the other end is matte and I think this is just so pretty and I love the fact that um, these rings are really great for layering so it's not just one ring for each finger. They have different sizes so that they can fit up on the top part of the knuckle or on the lower part below the knuckle so that is something I also really really like. Another ring that I love that I chose from her website is this ring that is just so feminine and delicate. Ah, oh, I love it and I love the little turquoisey gem. I don't know what you would call that, what the actual um, gem is for that color, but I love it so much. It's so feminine and really just adds that little like pop to your jewelry. The next one I like is the one that I really like because you can stretch it out to fit any finger that you want. And if you're someone like me who has like chubby little fingers and not every ring fits, then this is one you have to have because you literally can stretch it to open it wider or close it tighter so you can fit it on any one of your fingers that you want. So that is something I really like. And plus it has like a massive crystal on it, which is just so pretty. Ah, oh, I love it so much. And then the next one that's just probably one of my all time favorites is this super cute bow tie one here. It's just so feminine and cute and girly. Plus the fact that it's rose gold, ugh. I love rose gold. I'm not really a fan of gold jewelry. I'm more into silvers and rose gold. Gold, I feel, is just too, like, it just doesn't work with my skin tone. The yellowiness of it just really, it's not very good. But anyway, I love this one. The only downside is that it is an upper knuckle ring, so, um, it will only fit on the top parts of your fingers and if, like I said, if you're like me and you have pudgy little baby hands, then it's not at all going to fit on your regular fingers. For me, this ring only fits on my um, ring finger and then on my pinky. And only to that far on my pinky, but otherwise it is so pretty. I don't even care. I'll layer it with all my other rose gold rings. I love it. Okay, so now I'm gonna be moving on to earrings and starting off with some really, really K-trendy ones are these ones right here and they kind of fit so that it's like you pierce your ear with the top part, then the lower part comes from behind and pokes through under the earlobe, which is a really big trend in earrings these days in Korea and outside of Korea. And I wanted this one because it was just so classy looking. 
the top part of it is a white crystal then the lower part is a rose gold crystal and that just I thought it was so pretty that I had to have it and then the other earring that I got is one that I have worn quite a few times in videos I haven't worn the other ones just because they're a little too classy for my usual videos but this one is so oh I love it so I'll put this on right now and it actually is an ear cuff it's not actually an earring that has to go into a piercing so you just you just open up the cuff part you can stretch the metal it's totally okay and then you slide it onto where you want it placed and you re-tighten that cuff and you have it linked onto your ear like that and what I love so much about this is it's the Big Dipper and I love the constellation theme to it and I love how it looks when it's on the ear. I feel like it's just so pretty and it just adds that like, it just adds so much to your everyday look. Like I love it and I really like the fact that you don't have to like pierce your ear for this. So if you're someone who just so happens to not have your ears pierced, then you can totally wear this one. It's great. Now next I'm going to show you a necklace that I got and it actually is the necklace to match with this ear. It's a Big Dipper necklace and it is a one that I have worn quite a few times on video and in person for everyday wear. And I just think it is so delicate and beautiful because it's not a heavy piece of jewelry but it still is a very like fun and unique. It's not every day you see someone with like a big dipper necklace or big dipper earring. So that is just what I loved about it and I love that it was just delicate enough to wear with any kind of outfit you want. So that's why I would wear it to the office or I would wear it like casually when I was going out. It just works with anything which is something I really enjoyed about it. So those are all the pieces of jewelry that I got from my friend. If you guys want to check her out I'll have the link to her website down below so you can get any of the items that you're interested in or anything you saw here. Um, she does ship internationally which is great so feel free to get anything you want and she'll ship it to you straight from South Korea in Seoul. Um, her website is called Lunar Pixis and like I said I'll have it linked down below if you guys are curious. Go check her out. She has great stuff, really my style and really trendy Korean styles if you're into that kind of thing. So I hope you guys like this video. Please let me know what kind of videos you want to see down below in the comment section down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hi guys, so today we're going to be creating this really romantic dolly look for Valentine's Day, so let's get started. So with my bare face ready, I'm taking my Prime Primer by Benella Co. And I'm about lip fillers, and especially anyone who is curious about getting any kind of cosmetic work done while in South Korea. So before we jump into this video, I want to share with you guys the list of other cosmetic videos that I have done about cosmetic work in South Korea. So the first one being um, Botox in South Korea. So if you're curious to learn about getting Botox done, how much it costs, and where you can do it in South Korea, then check out the first video here. And for anyone that is curious about getting any kind of surgeries done in Korea, then check out this video.